So I'm at my physical therapy appointment and the elevator is back in order, but I'm gonna take the stairs. Why? Because it's good for you. Going down the stairs lengthens muscles in your upper thigh that you don't normally lengthen. So that's a really great practice for strengthening them so you don't fall down the stairs. So that's why. And whenever you have like multiple staircases, do it. And then we get to work on my heart on the way up. So I encourage you to do the same, especially when you get older. You gotta take care of these bodies. I could take the elevator, but I'm not going to. This was my last uh, physical therapy appointment. I could have come once a week for the next few weeks, but I just said, you know what? It's too chaotic for me. As far as if I don't have to, I'll just exercise on my own. So I'm gonna walk all the way up the stairs. Let's do it. to stay strong. Use these little opportunities. <sighs> okay. Okay, we did it. <sighs> Peter is with me. I picked him up because he can go visit his mother while I visit my mother-in-law. So that's where we're going. He's going to pick up a pizza and bring it to his parents. And I'm going to go give Nani a haircut. So this is my husband's hometown and it's Peter's hometown. How's that? Yeah, they went to school together. So I'm in his hometown. It's the town next to where I grew up and it's just, I just feel so good. You know, I love being here, I do. It's my hometown. I mean, this isn't my hometown, but it's, this, it's just the next town over. All right, everybody, all right. So we are gonna have a beautiful blessed day. Then I get to go sit with Peter's parents. <laughs> they're straight from Italy and you can barely understand what they're saying. And it's wonderful, wonderful. The spot that I met Steven at This is the road that his parents met on and then I met him on the same road okay my mother-in-law was trying to get to the beach which is down the street here bless yourself Catholic Church and um, she hitchhiked I mean it was a million years ago so maybe it was safer then and she got into this guy's car not knowing it was her future husband's car and he gave her a ride to the beach with her friend to go meet her sister. And this is the same street that I got into Steven's car through a mutual friend and not knowing that that beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous hunk of flesh, kindred spirit was my future husband. It's just like, oh. Yes, and these are the streets that when I'd leave Steven's house at night and he would go to work, We'd be going the opposite way. I'm driving to it to his house right now. And um, he would, uh, I don't know where the dog is, maybe because it's cold, but he's a husky. I hope he's okay. But right here, he would be coming up this way and I would be coming this way and he would go, he would come this way and down the street and I would follow and I'd go home and then he would go to work. And we did that all the time. I am just so blessed, like really, like if you guys have a family and you know, you just please treasure them, treasure your family, especially the elderly. Oh my gosh, you have to please. I mean, I love my family. I love them so much. My in-laws, oh my gosh, I am so blessed. This is the driveway. I know you guys have seen it before. 
Uh, if you follow me, this was the driveway that Mr. Fry always drove down. Yep, this was it. I remember walking here, walking down this driveway. The very first time I was going to call for him. Yeah, and he came out, he was exercising. He had all his gym equipment out here and I showed up in this cute little dress and I don't know what possessed me. I just wanted to see how he was. And we, he was in a band and he wasn't, he wasn't in the band anymore. And we hadn't seen each other in a long time. And I just came here. And then what happened was I stood right over here. Um, we are talking to him in this driveway and we talked and everything. And I don't remember the sequence of everything, but then, then I invited him to one of my shows. He came to the show. And then when I came back here to call for him, to let him know I was playing uh, that night, he came out of that door. That gorgeous hunk of flesh was standing right there, filling up that space so beautifully. And I said to him that I'm playing out tonight. So if you want to come to my show, and he didn't look excited at all. I thought it was like, I thought he was angry. I thought like, oh my gosh, I'm embarrassing myself so much right now. And he said to me later, it was the best day of his life. Okay. And then I'm going to show you over here. I'm going to show you here. It's so amazing, you know. I have videos of when grandpa was here and everything was flourishing and... There was a beautiful tree right in front of that shed and that was his shed. It was so beautiful. And see that little box right there where my straw is? He'd open that up, he'd play the radio. He would have so many vegetables and uh, he'd water the grass and he'd put a little slip and slide right here for the kids. And he built that swing set over there. And it was just magical. And I knew one day I was gonna see it like this. Barren. But that's what heaven is for, guys. That is what heaven is for. To be together again. We're gonna get there. Okay. Gosh, look at this. It is 4.30. I spent the whole day with Nani. Woohoo! So excited. I got to wash her hair, cut it. I'm sorry. I, I just can't, you know, I can't get her on video like that. But um, it's beautiful. Great time.